This is a swing set in retail row. It looks pretty innocent, right? Well, let's see what happens when you touch it. Whoa, what the f Yo, do you see me? Look at me. <laughs> I got banned. <laughs> it's freaking cursed. You can't touch it or you get banned. But would you believe me if I told you that's not even the dumbest way to get banned in Fortnite? Yeah, in our number 15 spot, when Cypher PK was doing a regular stream last year, he kept constantly getting harassed by stream snipers and trolls. It happens a lot on Twitch. And so eventually he realized that he recognized the same name sniping him a ton of different times. So he tracked down the sniper's stream and watched it. After getting literal proof of him stream sniping, he reported him to Epic Games, and just a few moments later, this happened. He got banned? No shot. No shot, Epic just banned him live. No way, Epic just banned him. A player report has had action taken against him for negative behavior. Thanks for keeping Fortnite a fun, friendly community. No way, Epic. Let's go, dude. Epic just banned this guy live. I mean, I haven't seen anyone get banned live for stream sniping in a while, so this was pretty avoidable. I'd feel bad for the guy, but to be honest, he broke the rules by stream sniping Cypher like five times in a row. And while this ban was understandable, it wasn't as dumb as number 14, which is Laser Beam's golfing ban. So back in chapter one, Laserbeam was playing Fortnite with some other streamers and they were trying out some new emotes and toys. They were trying to score basketball hoops and playing with stuff like beach balls and more. Although when Laserbeam decided he was gonna try and score a hoop with a golf ball, this happened. Here you come, right? Oh, I'm, I'll try. Can you do this? Nah, you can't. <laughs> oh my god, shit. <laughs> no, Wait, man. actually. What? I just got kicked out of the game. Why are they you got struck by the ban hammer. They're like, no, you can't use a golf club in basketball to hit with a ban hammer. I mean, we're not even exactly sure what happened here. Maybe Epic Games are just jealous of his golf skills. He did pretty much clear that whole mountain, but some people have said this was because he was using a 4G router and that might be why he was banned. But I gotta say, the timing here was impeccable. It could have just been a glitch. And while that was really stupid and a pretty unexplainable ban, you haven't even prepared yourself for number 13. If you're a Fortnite OG, you probably remember Alex Ramy Gaming. He was quickly becoming a very popular streamer in the community back during season one and was actually number one in the world on the Fortnite wins leaderboard. Well, unfortunately, he wasn't exactly the nicest to his teammates. And in a match when he wanted a weapon from his team and no one dropped him one, he decided to do this instead. Wait, 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 wait. I told you I needed a weapon. All right, I'll take all the weapons for myself. Hold on. I told him I needed a freaking rifle. He didn't want to give me anything. Yeah, I'm not really surprised that he got banned, but this was kind of avoidable. You'd have to know that team killing your entire squad would get you banned, but I don't really think that he cared all that much. But now for a ban that devastated the whole community with number 12. If you've never heard of Xenon, he is a 10-year-old Fortnite and Valorant player who streams with his dad, and he is extremely cracked at Fortnite. And last year, when he was nine years old, Xenon got the attention of the entire community when trying to load into a match of Arena. Basically, this happened. No way! I também play in everything! In Arena? In everything! Shut up, shut up. Shut up, All the poor kid wanted to do is play Arena and Epic Games actually banned him entirely from competitive for over 1400 days. Basically, it ends on his 13th birthday. The clip went viral and was immediately shared around the community and creators like FaZe Banks and Ninja got free Xenon trending on Twitter, trying desperately to get his ban reversed. Now, thankfully, Xenon was still able to play in casual playlists, but he was banned from Arena. I mean, it's just Arena, not even a tournament. And the reason this happened is because Epic banned him from tournaments, but their system also automatically banned him from Arena as a result. Now, fortunately, Epic actually noticed the mistake and unbanned him the next day after the trending hashtag and more. Xenon mostly plays Valorant competitively now, but still plays Fortnite from time to time. But next up, we have the major team ban. If you don't play or watch Fortnite competitive, then you might not know what a storm surge is. When any match of Fortnite has a ton of players left with each circle, it will activate a storm surge. Basically, it deals 25 damage every second to the people with the least amount of damage in the match. So if you've been like camping or avoiding fights, you're gonna get taken out by the storm unless you act really quickly. So to avoid activating any storm surge damage in a tournament, four players, Creo, Buck, Keys, and Slacks, all team together in order to trade damage with each other. And because of this and more evidence that they were watching 
watching each other's streams, Epic actually banned all four of them for two months of Fortnite. And while this one was deserved, our next ban wasn't. It's time for number 10, which is the Landon V-Buck scandal. Landon used to be a huge Fortnite streamer and YouTuber who had a goal for being the first ever person in the world with 1 million V-Bucks on their account. He spent thousands of dollars getting to that goal, and when he finally hit a million V-Bucks, he was banned. Yeah, as you guys can see by the title of this vid, I have, uh, I was just banned on Fortnite. The account has been banned for misconduct in one of our games. Yo, Fortnite, if you're watching this, I would uh, really appreciate if you could reach out to me. And if I'm not getting my account back, I mean, at least we could talk about why I'm not gonna get my account back. Now, it wasn't this that caused him to get banned. However, Landon actually said that he could have been banned for doing glitches and using custom skins on his account, which technically do violate Epic's TOS. But it gets even dumber with number nine. You might remember this from the intro, but if you visited Retail Row back in the old days of Fortnite, you might have been surprised to see an actual working swing set in the outskirts of the POI. This swing set had actual physics, which meant players could push it and shoot it, but for some reason, Epic didn't actually think people would try to ride the swing. I mean, obviously we would, but Fortnite at the time just didn't realize it. So when players jumped onto the swing to ride it, this happened. Whoa, what the f***? Yo, do you see me? Look at me. <laughs> not working. Oh, what the f Was I banned? <laughs> I got banned. <laughs> yeah, really crazy. But next up, we have the Jarvis Aimbot ban. One of the most famous bans in Fortnite history is that of FaZe Jarvis. It's pretty much legend at this point that Jarvis made a YouTube video where he showed off Aimbot and how it works, trying to make like an entertaining video and not actually cheating in real tournaments or anything like that. Well, unfortunately, Epic didn't exactly see it that way. Yep, that's uh, that's broken. That's broken, mate. Oh, I don't miss a shot. I don't miss a shot, bro. Yo, we're cracked. This is what you guys can't see on the recording. I don't know why it doesn't show up, but it's on my screen. That's not looking. Jarvis is one of the only people on this list who is still banned to this day, and despite trying multiple times to play the game again, Fortnite keeps banning all of his accounts. But now it's time to talk about a ban that should have been way worse. Coming in at number seven, we have the Ziff and Ronaldo World Cup ban. So Ziff and Ronaldo were players who cheated during the Fortnite World Cup 2019. During qualifiers, they got friends to feed them kills for extra points, and immediately pros like High Sky or Clicks called out Ronaldo and Ziff, and Epic did a full investigation. The pair were actually banned, but only for a few weeks, and they eventually just returned and qualified for the World Cup Finals anyway. They walked away with hundreds of thousands of dollars in earnings and clicks didn't qualify for the World Cup because they cheated. Man, that sucks. But next up, we have number six, which is the God Mode Tournament Ban. Our next ban is something that was extremely strange and a lot of people are still torn whether it was deserved or not. Basically, in a land Fortnite tournament, Heretic's Marky was playing until he encountered a very strange bug. He was knocked down, but he wouldn't die. He was pretty much immortal, so his teammate picked him up and they continued playing, and this is what happened next Yep, he continued to play despite literally having God mode and refused to leave when the referees interfered. Eventually, he was let out and disqualified from the tournament because it was a glitch and he wasn't cheating. He wasn't banned from Fortnite, but it's kind of his fault for continuing after getting like a God mode advantage. And a lot of you might remember number five, which is the Nate Hill and Funk Bombs ban. When Nate Hill and Funk Bomb were in a tournament, Funk Bomb was eliminated but stayed in the match. And in tournaments, it's pretty much required to leave the game so you can't give callouts once you die. And well, Funk Bomb, he made a callout. Straight to your west. Yeah, he's like southwest. He's dirty health. <laughs> I feel like this is cheating, but. Because of this, both players were removed from all the fall skirmish tournaments, and Funk wasn't able to get any prizes. But only legends will remember number four, which is the Tifu ban. When Tifu was banned, it was one of the most iconic moments of OG Fortnite history, and it began the start of his entire default legacy. The story goes that he purchased an account from someone with a ton of rare Fortnite skins on it, so Epic banned the account, as well as his main account, for doing so. At the time, Tifu had over $5,000 spent on his main and swore to never buy a Fortnite skin ever again, thus beginning his default journey. And that leads us to number three, which is the Zacubus teaming ban. In a DreamHack tournament a few years ago, a streamer named Zacubus was playing and decided not to push someone who he saw in the distance. And this is what happened next. Oh! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it might have been a joke. It might have been a 
joke. Maybe you've won, so he just banned you for a joke. Luckily, it was only temporary, but he was actually the first ever player to get banned for avoiding fighting someone. But now it's time for our second to last ban, coming in at number two is the Laser Beam Stream Sniping Ban. So last year, Laser Beam noticed his friends were streaming, so he got a ton of peelies together to try and stream snipe fresh in a solo game. Their goal was to take him out and stop him from winning, and this was the outcome. Attack him! Kill him now! Kill him now! Attack him now, you cowards! Go, kill him! He's low, he's low, he's low on whites, he's low on whites, come on boys, finish him! Finish him now! We just got kicked. I think we just got kicked. Did we just... Did we just... <laughs> we just got kicked for teaming! Honestly, pretty funny, but for our dumbest ban of all time, what you've all been waiting for coming in at number one is the Battle Bus ban. For some reason, back in Chapter 2 Season 3, there was a glitch happening that would ban in an entire lobby. We have no idea why this happened still to this day, but a lot of people got their accounts back. It was nuts seeing the videos of entire lobbies getting struck by the ban hammer, but that's all for our dumbest bans video. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.